Hey guys, what's up? And thanks for tuning into a Showgirls YouTube page. Before we jump into it, I want to make sure that I put out this disclaimer that all of the products that I use in my hair will be listed below and all of the music that you hear will be of myself singing covers of a plethora of different artists that inspire me. And so let's just jump right into it. So I first start off by adding the Eden Body Works Curl Defining Cream to my hair. Uh, I apply that all over along with the Diva Curl Believe In Leave-In Conditioner and also the Diva Curl Defining Gel just to give my curls that hold that they need to last me for the week. Um, I know it sounds like a lot of gel, but my hair, it looks thick, but it gets really fluffy more than anything. So that defining gel really helps. It smells amazing. And if you need to for certain areas that need a little extra love, you can add some of the Eco Styler gel as well. It works just as great. Um, so you're going to start from the roots of your hair into the bottom and start finger coiling, twirling it around your finger and then scrunching at the bottom. And I just do this to my entire head. Finger coiling from the root and scrunching at the bottom. And it's okay if you leave out a few uh, strands of curls if, if you're not worried about it looking perfect and like super neat. If you like it to look more like a wash and go, um, I'd say just pick your strands of curls that you want to give some extra attention to and start finger coiling. Okay, so I'm back and I want you to see the difference between the way that this side curls and I didn't start this side yet But this side always gives me trouble. I'm guessing because of heat damage Whatever the case may be you can see the curls they want to come back, but not so much so they need a little extra love and what I'm gonna do is Do some three strand twists over here just to get me through the rest of my head Okay, so to begin your three strand twists, you're going to section your hair into three sections and you're going to be moving the middle section all the way over to the left and so on and so forth. I've just become so used to doing the three strand twists that I can do it really fast while also finger coiling the hair. Um, but I'm going to do a separate tutorial on how to do the three strand twists. For right now, I'm only doing it this way because... I only do about four or five three strand twists in my whole head just to help that specific section out and train it on how to curl correctly. I finger coil the ends and then I scrunch to make sure that curl sticks. So you want to do that for the rest of your hair that needs the three strand twists. If you have this problem, if not, you can continue the finger coiling method. Yeah, just. Don't forget to scrunch at the end. Just Sidebar, the way that my hair is sectioned right now, I definitely look like Felicia. Wait, can I borrow your microwave? And now we are back to the bangs and the crown of the head. We no longer need to do the three strand twist, thank God. We're just gonna scrunch and section and continue to curl around your fingers. This one you want to pay a little bit more attention to, especially in the front because it's what people will see the most of, the top of your head and the front. And you can also use the finger coiling method for your wash and go if you just want your front section to look a lot more neat and you're worried about frizz. Once the hair is dry, I add some Eden Body Works Peppermint Tea Tree Oil to my roots. It's a spray. And then I put some argan oil in my hands and just distribute it and scrunch it through my hair before separating some of those curls that we finger coiled in the back. When separating your curls, especially your three strand twists, you wanna make sure that you start from the bottom just to make sure that you're not messing up that curl pattern and that you're handling it with care. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe and I guess I'll see you in my next video.